Hi everybody, Nick from 360 Big Sky Media. Hope you're amazing and you've had a great week. It's been very, very busy. Those of you in the UK, hope you're, you're safe after the storm that we've had. As I record this on the 28th of the 11th, we're right in the middle of the Black Friday weekend. I don't know whether you saw the email and the blog post and all the social media posts from the guys at Theasis. They're doing their annual Black Friday site. It's 20% off an annual subscription if you've never had one. So if you're sitting on the fence and you don't know whether to dive in, you would save yourself almost $50 this year. If you're already there and you're paying the, the, the monthly fee, the $24.99, and you decide you want to go for the yearly fee, you'll save yourself $50. The code is BLACK20 in capital letters. I'll link to the uh, website here underneath. I'll, I'll put it as the pinned link underneath. It's only actually live until Tuesday the 30th. So if you go there after the 30th, it ain't going to be there. So now's the time to get in there and make, take advantage of the seal. What are we doing today? Um, today I want to wrap up what we've done in the VR editor, quickly run through what we've done. And I want to go to what I call, and I know I'm wrong, the delivery page or the options page. I just want to show you how you deliver the project to the customer to have a look at. I know we said we were going to go through the customizer. The customizer is so in depth, there's absolutely stacks in there. You're going to be amazed. It's probably going to take quite a few videos, so I'd rather finish off the VR editor and the options page before we jump into the customizer, just so we can give it the attention it needs, because it's quite an important part of, of building your tour. So we'll start that next week. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, do the usual stuff. If you if you you know you're interested in that video, subscribe now and that way you'll not miss it. So without further ado, let's jump into the asses and let's have a look at what we're talking. So before we jump into the delivery options, I just want to recap where we've been. We've been in the VR editor, which is up here. And we started off by uploading our panoramas, clicking here. Then what we did was we went through the uh, default views. Well, then we went through each of these options. We went through the project properties where we talked about the project properties where we looked at linking panoramas backwards and forwards after we set the default view then went into the panorama properties where we looked at the projection and the behavior and we set the view and we set the zoom and we've done all of that and we also looked at the enhance option down here that not a lot of people knew about then we went in the hotspot properties where we talked about the different types of hotspot hotspots and tried to link everything together we talked about tooltips and we've done all of those. We didn't use this section because what we did in the project properties, we added our geo localization. Then we added a floor plan, which was our last video. And what we did was we added our map pins and made sure our radars were in the right way. And that was pretty much everything that we did in here. The only thing I wanted to show you was the help section, which a lot of people don't look at. And they also, a lot of people forget, depending on the machine you use, your edit and quality function here where you can drop down if you're using a low powered machine or set it as high as possible if you're using a more powerful machine and also the device emulator where you can view things as a desktop how it'll look on a tablet and also how it'll look on a mobile phone to get out of this section we go back to customize and preview what i want to do is concentrate on the other things that are in here so you're gonna deliver this to your customer. We've already talked about the title and we've already talked about the descriptions. What I wanna do is just look at these options here. Um, the customizer is here if you're looking for it. The customizer is huge. It's, it's absolutely immense. And I'm gonna run through that as I say over the next couple of videos. If you've built your tour and you want to see how it looks like, you can press preview. You'll find out the title of your tour is there and your description and your tour will open as normal. And Theasis always opens the preview in a new tab so you don't get confused. The options page related to this embed, I've talked about embeds before. What I would like to do is go through the embeds a little bit more at a little bit of a later date when we've built our tour because I think they are critical. Those of us who deliver for estate agents, these would make your life so much easier. The bits I'm interested in is use it, downloaded and published. As soon as you create a tour on Theasis and you do anything to save, it is automatically published. So that will always be a tick when you come in. The download option is if you want to download the tour and host it on your own server. Now, depending on what plan you're on, 
there'll be a fee or there won't be a fee. If you're on the Essentials annual plan, there isn't a charge for that. But what I want to talk about is the Use It button. Customers will want this virtual tour in probably two or three ways. So the first way is they'll want to see it before they sign off on it. So you've got a short URL you can send them, which gives them the preview. Exactly the same as the preview option. You can send them the HTML link and they can go from there. I use the short URL on my website. So what I do when I build a tour, I'll put an image of the tour and then on my website, I'll have a link sitting behind it, which, they'll, which when you click, it'll open a new page and take you into that virtual tour. However, you can also create an iframe or an embed. So this is Church Cottage, and again, it just lives on my website. How do we do that? Really, really simple. We can create an embed code. We can leave it to be custom responsive, so it'll adapt to whichever browser, whichever resolution, whether they're looking at this tour on a mobile device in landscape or portrait mode, whatever, or we can put a certain size on if we want. If we want to leave it to responsive, all we do is set the maximum height that we want. So I would set that maximum height. Generally, I set it to 450, set it to 450 and the width I'll leave to zero. So the height will stay constant, but the width will change depending on what sort of device they are looking at. And then what I would do is I would just copy and paste the JavaScript in there I always use a Java rather than the iframe because you get less hassles with Java. I know with iframes, some of them are really awkward. There's, there's issues with gyroscopes and some domains don't allow you to put an iframe in there. I know some websites are a little bit funny. So what I would do is just copy and paste that in there and that's it done. So there we go. We've built the tour in the VR editor. We've uploaded our images, we've put all of our hotspots in, we've linked all of our images together. We've got a custom Nadir and a custom Zenith. We've got video, audio, presentations, web pages that will open. And now we can send that over to the customer as a draft. And that customer that can then come back to you and say, can we edit X, Y, and Z? And that's it, you've delivered your tour. We'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing week and keep smiling. Cheers, guys.